Here are three things you shouldn't do if you have kidney disease. Make sure to watch to the end to also learn what you should be doing if you have kidney disease. So let's dive into the three things that you should not do if you have chronic kidney disease. Number one, juice cleanses. When you juice fruits and veggies, you don't get all of the beneficial fiber from the fruits and veggies. And what you get instead is a very concentrated amount of nutrients and compounds like potassium or oxalates or other vitamins and minerals. It is much better and safer to eat the whole fruit or veggie or add it to a smoothie and blend it up than to do juices or juice cleanse. The number two thing you shouldn't be doing if you have kidney disease is start taking excessive amounts of supplements. There's definitely a time and a place for supplements for people with kidney disease. However, there are some risks with certain supplements or certain quantities of supplements or certain combinations of supplements, and it can really vary from person to person. I've worked with people who have gotten acute kidney injury from taking excessive amounts of a lot of different over-the-counter supplements. So ideally, you want to work closely with a renal provider that's well-versed in supplements. This could be your nephrologist, it could be your renal dietitian, it could be a functional medicine practitioner practitioner, just ensure that they're comfortable reviewing the pros and the cons of the supplements that you're taking um, and that they can recommend appropriate dosing for you and take your kidney disease into account. And also keep in mind that the dose may need to be changed for any supplements that you're taking. For example, you might be taking a higher dose of vitamin D3 because your blood levels are low, but you need to have labs drawn again after a few months to check that level, make sure it's working, and then adjust the dose and get you on a maintenance dose instead. There should always be follow-up and dose adjustment with supplements. And the number three thing not to do if you have kidney disease is follow old and outdated renal diet advice. There is still a lot of bad old renal diet information that's being provided in clinics, hospitals, and on the internet. Someone told me recently that they were diagnosed with kidney disease and they were told to stop eating bananas and avocados and that they needed to start eating white rice and uh, white bread instead of whole grain products. And honestly, that's just old, it's outdated, and it's straight up wrong information. The newest guidelines actually recommend a diverse plant predominant dietary pattern. This doesn't have to be 100%, 100% plant based, it's just more plant predominant dietary patterns. The newer guidelines also recommend to consume potassium based on individual labs and individual nutrient needs, not to restrict potassium in everyone with kidney disease. It also recommends getting more fiber from whole plant foods and to take the bioavailability of phosphorus and potassium into account when making recommendations around what to eat. So for example, the phosphorus in plant foods are less bioavailable than in animal foods and the phosphorus that's in animal foods and in plant foods is less bioavailable than the phosphorus that's in phosphorus additives, which are found in a lot of processed packaged foods. Now for what you should do if you have kidney disease. Number one is you really should understand your labs and what they mean. Your diet, your medications, your supplements, and your plan of care will be individualized based on your labs. You need to understand what they are telling you. You need to monitor their trends and you need to ask questions about anything about them that doesn't make sense to you. It's really important to take control, compare your labs over time. Don't wait for your doctor to tell you that you've progressed to a lower stage. And number two for what you should do is you should understand and believe that what you eat does matter. If anyone is telling you that diet doesn't matter yet, or there's nothing you need to change yet, they are wrong. You should be proactive no matter what stage you're in because you can help to slow or halt kidney disease progression. And in many cases, even improve kidney function with your diet and lifestyle. So I'm Michelle Crosmer. I'm a renal dietitian. Head to plantbasedkidneys.com. I have a lot of recipes, diet information, freebies, and much more. I'll see you guys next time.